Samsung is bringing something massive to the Galaxy S23 Ultra that might be a bad upgrade but there's also some good news as Samsung beats Xiaomi in one of the major key markets in the world. Let's dive in. As you might or might not know, the Galaxy S23 series will be launched on February the 1st and as we edge closer and closer, we get a lot of confirmed leaks like the renders, materials, screen size and all that. But one major improvement that is as exciting as it is absurd is the fact that Samsung is going to use a new 200 megapixel main camera on the Galaxy S23 Ultra as opposed to the 108 megapixels used in the previous Samsung flagship. Now right off the bat, this might seem like an upgrade, like it's a good news but I can bet you that it's not. In fact, there are two main reasons why I think that this is relatively bad. Firstly, the fact that a higher megapixel count doesn't mean better photos. Now, in fact, in MKBHD's last blind camera test video, he found out that in most cases, a phone with a higher megapixel count tends to perform poorly compared to a phone with a lower megapixel count. And we've seen this in our normal daily usage because if you pull up the top end flagships that we have right now, you would see that the ones that are regarded as the best camera phones out there, like the Pixel 7 and 6a, usually have somewhere around 12 megapixels. In fact, it was just last year that the iPhones upgraded from 12 megapixels to 48 megapixels and it's still that level good. So to get a better camera system, the answer is not higher megapixels, rather it boils down more to the software optimization because the Google Pixel 6a that's regarded as one of the best camera phones out there right now is a 4 year old 12 megapixel camera, you heard me very well, that has crazily good Good software optimization so that basically sums it all up and the funny part is that Samsung actually knows this because the S23 Ultra is rumored to come with a selfie camera that has a lower megapixel count than that of the S22 Ultra. The S23 Ultra is meant to come with um, another 10 megapixel or 12 megapixel selfie camera as opposed to the 40 megapixel selfie camera on the S22 Ultra. But I can actually bet you that the photos produced by the selfie camera of the S23 will be way better than that of the S22. So y'all should try not to fall for the massive billboards and the crazy ads that will shout 200 megapixels in the next few months. Just don't. Please wait for the reviews. And just a few days ago, the Cat's Ice Universe posted this on Twitter and said that it's from the main camera of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And according to him, it only looks this shady because it was cropped in 12 times. Well, if that's the case, then this is actually a good photo, but I'm not saying anything until the reviews are out. Now, the second reason why I think this is bad is because Samsung doesn't really do well with major upgrades. Now, you might doubt this, but it's actually the truth. The last time Samsung tried to upgrade their megapixel count was with the Galaxy S20 Ultra. They upgraded from 12 megapixels in the Galaxy S10 series all the way up to 108 megapixels. And like I said, this was bad. Like, it had focusing issues, camera quality issues, depth of field issues, and the list goes on. And because of it, that turned out to be one of the worst Samsung flagships of all time so now you see why i'm actually concerned and also considering the fact that samsung's 200 megapixel sensor on the xiaomi mi 12 ultra didn't really perform as well as expected it actually begs the question will the galaxy s23 ultra be better i guess we'll just have to wait to find out but still, one major good news for Samsung is the fact that the company has taken back the number one spot in one of the most important smartphone markets in the world, India. Now, over the past few years, it's no surprise that Xiaomi has been dominating the Indian market. Like, I mean, they went as far as building factories in the country to provide job opportunities for a lot of Indians, making their devices cheaper in the country and some other helpful programs. So it was really a shock to me when I found out that both Samsung and Vivo passed Xiaomi in the Indian market share of Q4 2022. Now, like I said, this is actually great news for Samsung. It means that the only major smartphone market that it has not dominated is the US where Apple has its deep roots. And I personally think that um, Samsung can't really like beat them there but it was actually impressive to see Vivo up there with them. I mean, not like Vivo is a bad brand, but 
you know vivo makes some of the most like stylish mid-range devices if you ask me so it's just that we're talking about samsung and xiaomi and actually seeing them up there was actually very cool so um in my opinion if vivo continues to make great affordable phones like they actually do they might actually have a shot at beating samsung in india because basically there's no major thing that i like saw samsung did to actually be number one in india so maybe xiaomi slipped up and then samsung now took up the opportunity something like that so that's that well, by the way, tell me what you think about every single thing I've said in this video down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.